Hello everybody. Uh, in this screencast, we're going to look at how we can make internet connections. Uh, so your app connecting to the internet is very important because now, for example, you are say you are building an app that is going to display the weather forecast. So how are you going to know the weather forecast? So in most of the cases, you are going to connect to some form of an API, which is this is called an application programming interface. It's an API. It's a it's a service that somebody else creates and you are able to subscribe to that service and then communicate to the server and ask it hey what's the weather today at, in charlotte and it's going to return back the the weather today in charlotte and you can ask it hey what's the forecast for the weather in the next seven days in charlotte and it's going to respond back the api is going to respond back with this kind of uh, response now to be able to make these requests and responses we have to understand the uh, the internet uh, the the internet http uh, protocol so you have been using the HTTP protocol for a long time, but maybe you are not aware of it. Whenever you go to the browser and you type in a URL in this in 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 the uh, in the address bar here, you are actually writing in a URL which makes an HTTP request to the server. For example, uh, goes to say uncc.edu, and then the server responds back with a response. So now, in order to make these requests and response for our program, we need a tool that's called Postman. Okay, so browser is nice to make simple requests, but now we want to make some more sophisticated requests. Mainly, there are two types of requests: a request that's called get, and it's usually used to get some get, get some information from the server, and then there is a post, which is usually when you fill a form online, uh, the the contents of the form are going to be posted using a post request, sent to the server to be stored. Okay. So now, Postman, you can go to this website, which is getpostman.com, download it, and create an account, and so on. So, for example, after you create an account, you can download Postman and install it on your machine. Now, in order to use Postman, it's very straightforward. Basically, you just provide, I installed Postman, and this is the Postman uh, uh, software in installed on my machine. And basically, let's say I want to go to UNCC.edu, HTTP. Okay, so now it's a GET request, okay? GET is basically the request you make just to get any web page usually you get it using get okay click on send and it return back something which is in the body of the request it actually return back the HTML of the page that are, that was supposed to be displayed in the server so this tool allows you to look to have a closer look at these requests right at the request and response you can also look at the cookies that they created the headers what kind of headers were sent back from UNCC and so on right Basically, I'm more interested in the body here. So there are two kinds of two main kinds of requests that I'm interested in: get and post. There are so many other ones, but I am looking at get and post for the time being. So what I did is uh, um, I created two APIs or two uh, kinds of requests that are on a server that I control, and it's not uncc.edu. It's basically API dot the apps doctor.com. So basically when you do that this makes an api call to that server and basically the server says i don't know what what the name is and what the age is perfect so now the question is that if you are making a get request how do you pass parameters so to pass parameters you go here on params and it's a key value pair system it's like a dictionary you could say for example the name of the parameter is name okay for example and i'll say bob smith okay and basically what you see here is the response from the server so i will send the server a name a, a value that's called name uh, uh, the, the key is name and the value is bob smith and you could see the url when you're making get requests the parameters are passed in the url so basically it's the api endpoint question mark name equals bob smith let's also add an age age is say 35 okay and you can see that it's question mark then name equals Bob Smith and age equal to equal 35 now when you click on send we will send these parameters to the server the server is gonna bounce it this API is pretty simple this API just basically bounces back the parameters that you sent in the response okay so you click on send and you could say see that the server says that it's a get request the name is Bob Smith and the age is 35 okay now this is the get basically very straightforward you send uh, you, you send information in the url as parameters so basically it's this is the endpoint and then the question mark separates the endpoint and the parameters and the parameters are a key and value pair key value pair what separates the key from the value is the equal sign 
okay? Basically, Postman shows you how you do these requests, okay? Now, in a get request, the parameters are being sent in the URL, right? So basically, if I take this and copy this URL and go to the browser and I just paste it, you could see that <laughs> it, it's a get request. When you paste stuff in in the URL here, in the uh, the address bar here, you are making a get request, okay? Okay, cool. So basically, now we go back to Postman. Now, what if I change this to post? Okay, and I will remove these parameters from here. Now, how do I, and I click on send, now it says that the server sends back, says that this is a post request, but I don't know what the name age and what the age is. Why? Because in a post request, the parameters are not added to the URL. They are actually added to the body. We go to the body, click on form data, and then it's still again key value pair. Name, age, I'll say name is Alice Smith, and the age is say 25. Click on send, and you could see that the post request responds to the parameters that are sent in the post request. Okay, now, as you can see, the post request, it's not that easy to make it in the browser. You will need some kind of a library to make that because you could see that the parameters are not being sent in the URL. And as a user, I don't have access to the body by default in the browser. So it's easier to make get requests here, right? Just you type it in the address bar and boom, it makes a get request. But post requests need, you need a tool to uh, be able to make post requests. So we have looked at how you can make a get and get a post. So basically, in, a, in an HTTP request, there are three places to send the data. We looked at one uh, location, which is usually in the in, when you're making a GET request, is in the parameters. The parameters are in the URL, okay? The second place to send data is in the body. You can send data in the body. As you see, ho see here in a POST request, when you make a POST request, we pass, we pass information in the body. And we can pass information in the header. But the header parameters are also key value pairs, but are usually configuration parameters. Like, for example, you tell it what kind of data that you are sending, what kind of, what's the format of data that you are receiving, and so on. Like, for example, if you looked at, uh, let's look at the post request. There is also, I think, uh, another parameter that we can send, say type, and I'll say JSON. So basically, I'm asking it to send me JSON data. So basically, when you send, you could see that the response looks a little bit different now looks formatted in a specific way, which is called JSON. We'll look at it in more detail, but just to give you an idea that I can dictate to the server what I need it what what I needed to change. And I wanted to change to send me a text response. And you could see it sends a text response. So basically the the API allows you to communicate with a service or the, 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 this uh, postman allows you to communicate with a service and then that service will send a response and uh, postman allows you to visualize or uh, look closely at the response uh, that was sent by the service. This is very important uh, uh, for us as we will use this tool to look closely and investigate the responses of these services. And then we will see in the next couple of videos how to use these services in our apps. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.